Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Welcome to Palm Sunday at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Edison, New Jersey. We're glad that you are here with us this morning. Uh, leave your name in the comment section so that we know that you're here. Also, feel free to greet each other through those comments. Share the peace when it's uh, time uh, to do that in the service. Also, we encourage you uh, to, uh, if you haven't already, download the order of service for today from the St. Paul's website, www.stpauls-edison.org. Uh, the hymns are included this week at the end of that order of service, so you just have to flip over uh, to those hymns and you'll be able to sing along. Uh, during our opening hymn, our procession, feel free to get up to uh, uh, process around your house, uh, to wave your palms, the palms of your hands, any branches that you have, you can do that procession uh, at your house. Uh, also, feel free to uh, post pictures of your Palm Sunday uh, where you are uh, so that we can all share and celebrate uh, in this as well. Our service today is a service of the word for Palm Sunday, and we begin with our order of confession and forgiveness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us. And for his sake, God forgives you all of your sin. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all of your sin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our gathering hymn for this Sunday is All Glory, Loud, and Honor. Uh, please, again, feel free to wave your palms, to shout Hosanna, and to uh, process uh, wherever it is that you are.
grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also, also with you. Sovereign God, you have established your rule in the human heart through the servanthood of Jesus Christ. By your Spirit, keep us in the joyful procession of those who with their tongues confess Jesus as Lord, and with their lives praise him as Savior who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. At the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, The Lord needs them. And he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them uh, on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and followed were shouting, Hosanna to the Son of David! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest heaven! When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. Then Jesus entered the temple, and drove out all who were selling and buying in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. He said to them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. The blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he cured them. But when the chief priests and the scribes saw the amazing things that he did, and heard the children crying out in the temple, Hosanna to the son of David, they became angry and said to him, Do you hear what these are saying? Jesus said to him, Yes. Have you never read? Out of the mouths of infants and nursing babies, you have prepared praise for yourself. He left them, went out of the city to Bethany, and spent the night there. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Grace, mercy, and peace to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I think it's very easy this week to lose ourselves in the past, either in melancholy memories or, or even in an angry kind of grief. This is, after all, nothing like the Palm Sundays that we have celebrated in years past. If you've been to St. Paul's on Palm Sunday, you know the joy and the energy that's sort of uh, just going through this place. We begin by gathering close together, almost shoulder to shoulder, out in the lounge. The youth are there passing out palm branches and bulletins and hymnals. And the Sunday school kids are gathering quickly around uh, uh, the gospel reading and, and the choir, and they're all ready to, to lead our procession out into the sanctuary. And the whole company of the saints then uh, begins their procession, waving palm branches and singing and praising and parading through and around the sanctuary and up here to the altar. And then the children would sing for us, and they would remind us 
if we have eyes to see and ears to hear that the true and inspired and enduring praise of Palm Sunday comes from the mother infants and babies and children noisily celebrating the arrival of our long-awaited King. See, it's easy, easy to get lost in memories of what has been. It's easy to lose ourselves in our and our own love for the sacred rituals and traditions that have become synonymous with this holiest of seasons. It's easy to lose ourselves in the past and, and by doing so to push away the present, to say things like, it doesn't feel like Holy Week or Easter to me, or I can't believe this terrible virus has ruined our Holy Week and Easter. It is true. We have lost a lot this year. We are missing a lot this year. We're missing being with each other. We're missing communing together. We're missing these prayers. And, and yet when we peel away these rituals and traditions, or when we set them aside, and set aside the way things have always been, we find what remains at the center is Jesus. The one who has come to save us, the one who is Emmanuel, God with us, the one who is the Christ, come to be our Lord. And after all, that is why they shouted Hosanna when they entered Jerusalem those many years ago. The prayer and praise of the people who cut branches and spread their clothes before Jesus is nothing less than the Spirit-inspired witness and testimony to who Jesus is and what God is doing in Jesus, now doing it publicly and openly for all the world to see. As Jesus rides along on the donkey, he is finally going public to affirm what has been whispered and rumored throughout his whole entire ministry. He is, he is the promised one. He is God's salvation. And this Palm Sunday parade is no spontaneous accident. It is Jesus' own deliberate and intentional act. It is an event that is Word of God in action before our very eyes, and in which we are no longer spectators, but full participants. And this Word reveals for all with eyes to see and ears to hear what has been hidden in plain sight in the life, teaching, and mighty acts of Jesus. Though he rides on peaceably and humbly, on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey, he comes to the temple with power and authority, and he drives out the money changers and the profiteers, the revolutionaries and the conspirators, the nationalists and the imperialists, the zealots and the collaborators. He turns over their tables and chairs, he opens their cages, and he sets all of God's creatures free. He liberates both community life and religious life to be what God has always intended it to be, the communion and fellowship between God and God's people. So here we stand today, one in the Spirit, full participants in this unfolding story, but with our lives turned upside down, an act of power, authority, and liberation that, that frees us to gather from all over in communion with God through Christ. Maybe more than any other year, we can see, see Jesus' provocative and powerful Palm Sunday message. The old ways have come to an end, and God's new kingdom has come in Jesus. God has come to save and redeem us from the power of sin and death, from empire and religion, by taking God's rightful place on the throne as the sovereign of all creation. And God has done so not with violence, fear, or coercion, but with humility, mercy, and steadfast love 
incarnate, to believe this message, to put our trust in Jesus, is to see God present in our world as the one who in mercy and steadfast love frees us and gives us eternal life in Jesus Christ. It is easy, though, to get lost in the past, whether that past is just last year or 2,000 years ago. It is difficult to see, to see that for years we have moved through this sanctuary like those children in Jerusalem shouting and singing Hosanna, Hosanna, without really understanding the depth and the truth and the power and the provocative message that that testimony has put on our lips. But here we stand today, one in the Spirit, but scattered all over. And yet, we abide together in communion with God and one another through this Christ. And perhaps we are beginning to understand that the essential core and content of our faith is simply Jesus. That long ago, Jesus rode into Jerusalem to be crowned King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And that this very morning, our prayer and praise join the prayer and praise of the thousands and thousands who gather around his throne, one in the Spirit. But to our eyes, we are separated by space and time. They, we, gathered with them to sing the glory of God and the Lamb of God who has taken away the sin of the world. That is the glorious end of the story that begins today. Yet today, we mark the beginning. There are yet many trials to come, ups and downs, moments of unspeakable sorrow and unbelievable joy. In it all, through it all, focus on Jesus and give heed to God's invitation for us to leave the past behind set aside for a season the rituals and traditions we have come to love so much and instead embrace Christ in our current time in confidence and faith so that we too might clearly see and hear what Jesus has to say to us. So here we stand. Here we stand today, the first day of the week, which is a holy week. A week set aside as holy for us to live the story of how God has saved us in Jesus Christ, the Lord and the Savior of the whole creation. But this enduring memory is never past. It is never the past of faith, but, but the memory of how we have come to this point and why it is that we cry, Hosanna to the Son of David, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. And it explains why. Through God's Spirit, though scattered as we are, yet one in that Spirit, we have been empowered to say, following Jesus, Here I am, Lord. Here I am to live and breathe in all we say and do, that Jesus Christ is Lord, that the powers of sin and death have been defeated, and that God's kingdom and new creation has been established. In Jesus' name, amen. We sing our hymn of the day, Here I Am, Lord.
Together, let us confess our faith in Christ using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Turning our hearts to God who is gracious and merciful, we pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. God of mercy, awaken your church to new proclamations of your faithfulness. By your spirit, give us bold and joyful words to speak, that we sustain the weary with the message of your redemption. Hear us, O God, your mercy mercy is great. God of mercy, quiet the earth where it trembles and shakes. Protect vulnerable ecosystems, threatened habitats, and endangered species. Prosper the work of scientists, engineers, and researchers who find ways to restore creation to health and wholeness. Hear us, O God. Your Your mercy mercy is great. great. God of mercy, drive away fear and anger that cause us to turn against one another. Give courage to leaders who seek liberation for the oppressed and bring peace and hope to those who are in prison and those who face execution. Hear us, O God. Your Your mercy mercy is great. great. God of mercy, send your saving help to all who suffer abuse, insult, discrimination, or contempt. Heal the wounded, comfort the dying, bring peace to those suffering chronic or terminal illness. Tend to all who cry out for relief, especially all who are ill, all who are suffering in isolation, and those people on our prayer list and those whose names we raise before you now. Georgie, Paul, Elaine, Denise, Charlie, Jack, George, Dave, Jim, Barbara, Mitchell, Joe, Bob, Donna, Ed, Adam, Jeremy, Bill, Dennis, Janice, Andrew, Brett, Travis, and Chris, and TJ, Rob, Diane, Sharon, Paula, Michelle, Kenny, Gail, Shirley, Matthew, Kathy, Vanessa, Paula, Robert, Linda, Karen, Lorena, Ray, Frank, Tracy, Adam, Allison, Marie, Sherry, Ed, Dave, Alessio, Michelle, Richard, Megan, Elsie, Kathy, Gabby, Ben, Kathy, Evelyn, Tierney, Elda, Gisela, Ed, Matthew, Sue, Leslie, Jay, Stephanie, Ed, Bob, Sirena, Frankie, Judy, Dolores, Candy, Joseph, Damien, Marianne, Joseph, David, Dorothy, John, Pilot, Dorothy, Rosalind, John, Kenny, Tom, Kang, Stephen, Corinne, Karen, Maisie, Karen, Dennis, Barbara, Justin, Stan, Sean, Lila, Skipper, Ronald, Kathy, Tess, Ethel, Les, Rick, Samantha, Adam, Fran and Francis, Gail, Chuck, Amy, Ann, John, Noah, Nicholas, Ricky, Carly, Elaine, Ciel, our service men and women at home and overseas and their families, especially Nicholas and Brian. All who are at home sick, all who are at home waiting test results, all who are suffering and struggling in hospitals, for all medical workers and first responders, for factory workers, truck drivers, warehouse and delivery workers, for all who are unemployed. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. 
God of mercy, we pray for all who will prepare and lead worship in this holy week. In all things, show us the ways that you call us to die to self, to live for you, and to give our, our sake, our ourselves for the sake of others. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. God of mercy, when we breathe our last, you raise us to eternal life. With all your witnesses in heaven and on earth, let us boldly confess the name of Jesus Christ, our resurrection and our hope. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. According to your steadfast love, O God, hear these and all our prayers as we commend them to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Share a sign of God's peace with each other. Uh, leave each other peaceful messages and greetings in the comments below. At this time, our worship also continues with the sharing of our gifts and our offerings. Your generosity is essential now more than ever. By making your gift electronically, you can not only sustain and support God's mission through the work of this community, but you can do a little bit more to slow the spread of this virus to protect the vulnerable. When you give today, consider also checking that box to make your gift an automatically recurring gift. Thank you for your partnership in the gospel and in our goal of slowing the spread, protecting the vulnerable, and sustaining the mission. You can give your gift electronically on our website, www.stpauls-edison.org slash online hyphen giving, or simply follow the link at the top of our webpage. You can also mail your gift and your offering to us at St. Paul's Lutheran Church, 445 Old Post Road, Edison, New Jersey, 08817. Again, thank you for your generosity and for your partnership in the gospel. We sing our offering song, Create Me a Clean Heart. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you again for joining us in worship this Palm Sunday. And now we make that transition into this week that's set aside uh, to focus our attention and our praise and our worship uh, on Jesus who has come to free us from the power of sin and death to make us God's people. Check your email tomorrow for the virtual bulletin that will uh, outline the services uh, for, uh, give you the order of services for Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, Easter Vigil. Uh, on those uh, days also in that email, oh sorry, if you haven't uh, received our emails yet, you can go to the St. Paul's website and use the form at the bottom of the page to sign up for that, then you'll be sure to get the order of service uh, each week. Our, our Holy Week services will be Maundy Thursday evening at 7.30, Good Friday at 7.30, and our Easter Vigil on Saturday also at 7.30 p.m. So Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7.30 p.m. And then here again at 10 a.m. Uh, on Easter Sunday to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord. Uh, and now, receive God's blessing this week. Almighty God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen. We sing, Go to Dark Gethsemane. Thanks be to God. God. And thank you for joining us in worship this morning.